Um, I'll be brief, like we have uh, 10 minutes here, like so the idea today is like to, to explain you like what uh, what is digital forensics and why like basically it should be important for for basically everyone in this room. I know there's many, like I got many questions before like from people who are not aware of this topic and who are not like very, what is digital forensics, why should I pay attention to this topic? So I think that's something we will uh, develop here. So uh, our work for a company called Magnet Forensics, we are actually like uh, one of the leader in this field and today like in, uh, in the five ten minutes we have like in front of us i will uh, i will show you like basically why you need to focus on this and there's two aspects of digital forensic the first is acquisition and the second part is uh, analysis so if you can just move on to the next slide yeah. um very good so that's just a quick slide on on, on myself nothing uh, Nothing, uh, I'm not going to spend too much time, so let's move forward. So digital forensics, what is it? Why is it important? So the, uh, let me start with an analogy. Like we have a lot of people today, we are familiar in cybersecurity, who are using like tools like uh, EDR tools, and they are like, yeah, it's okay, I have discovery like uh, capabilities, and that's fine. So if I start with an analogy, like discovery capabilities, like detection, sorry, capabilities, it's like, it's like as if someone like trying to rob your house, they enters and they're like, oh, it's okay, I detected the guy, end of my job. But then this is where, you know, like for digital forensic, it's coming is like, you will ask yourself, and this is what the police is doing already. And you are in your organization to basically be able to safeguard your organization. You need to do the same, which is trying to understand, oh, did they enter? Did they break the door? Did they, did they just like enter using the garage door? Is it like, uh, like what tools did they use to, to go inside? And once they were inside my house, like breaking my house, what did they steal? You know, like, uh, did they steal jewelry? Did they like leave any fingerprint? So this type of like, you know, this analogy is basically describing you what's digital forensic. So digital forensic is for you, like the focus uh, will be first, like to be able to understand, like, so it's post incident. So basically something happened and then you will try to understand how did it happen? Like, why did it happen? Like, uh, did, they, did they leave any trace behind? And the goal, of course, for you is to protect the organization. So you want ultimately like this incident not to happen in the future again. And to be able to do that, you, you need to understand how it happened. So let me move like uh, to an example of, of one incident here. Like, so this is like, for example, like what, what happens sometimes in some company. I just took here like one random example is like, so, a lot of people are using their corporate like tools, so whether it's mobile phone, whether it's a, a computer, for their personal activities. Let's assume like like someone was doing that and just like you know randomly is going on a website, booking his holidays, for example, and then they download a malicious like file. This malicious file would then you know at the end like contamin like you know affect the full uh, organization. But if you're not like able to react quickly to understand like how come like you know this file was downloaded like in the company and then you know like started spreading in like like in the different servers and starting basically affecting the business if you're not able to do this like you're not going to be able to basically stop stop it on time and here like reactivity is going to be key here like you know at the end like there's a, a quick example of what happened like within one hour like inside the organization so that's here like i'm i'm showing you a screenshot of an actual like real investigation so what what everyone needs to understand here is like investigation like today like we're saying it all the time you hear it in every conferences it in, includes like uh, tons of data here like you know we did an investigation like just a small investigation like on a computer and this was they were like behind 25 million artifacts so let's assume you know like you have a lot of time in front of you are you going to go ahead and be able like to you just review all these artifacts that's that's not possible like that's not feasible what you want is like to be able to focus on some points like do you want to focus like on the cloud data like uh, the people have been investigating do you want to focus on the media is it uh, is for example like if you're a bit technical here like do you want to look at the log files do you want to, to look at like uh, the memory files? Like memory is very important. Like you know, if, after an incident, always leave the machine on to be able to understand what the people were doing the last few minutes. So this is like you know what you will be able to do using like uh, you know forensic solutions like uh, provided by Magnet Forensics. 
So here, like what we do is like we make sure the, the people doing the investigation can, can quickly understand what's going on and can basically like, you know, tell the story, explain how did it happen and then, you know, like share it, whether it's internally or like with the law enforcement. Law enforcement, uh, for example, here in Saudi, they're using the same tools actually like for their investigation. Of course, we're speaking about a different type of investigation, but that's the, the idea is the same. Where in the police, it would be, you know, like very like, uh, like, you know, rough investigation, like murders, that type of things. In your company, you still have risk. You have like, uh, you have internal like uh, fraud. You have like uh, e-discovery cases. You have HR cases. All these cases, like if you're not investigating them, oh, but are you going to be able to say first if there's a real, like case if there's things happening and and the second thing is like not investigating does not mean that nothing happens like that's that's sometimes you know if you're not searching for the problem like of course you don't find anything and that's here like you know like the benefit of forensic investigation so there's a couple of points here like i would like you to remember the first point is like you know digital forensic is today something like we all need to use here in this room, I'm sure all of you have like at least one mobile phone. Some of them have several mobile phones. You have like computers. And I have people saying like, yeah, but you know, like it's okay, I, I know what I'm doing. I'm like, put your phone on uh, on private, like plain mode. Like, are you able to access anything? Are you able like to still connect to your like uh, images? Most, in most of the cases today, people are using also like uh, uh, Google Photo, they are using to iCloud, all these services. If you're not able to, you know, like dig deeper than just the machine you have in front of you, and if you're not able, like, you know, like to retrieve all the data, you're going to miss part of the investigation. So this is where, you know, like in a country like Saudi, where like the projects are very fast, are moving like very quick and very big at the same time, you know, you will have, you will face risks. And to be able to mitigate this risk, you also need to make sure you protect your organization and to be to be able to do that you need to also like do internal investigations to to be sure that nothing is going on and no like no one is for example stealing the plans of the next airport and like sharing it with the competitor that happens like that's things we've seen in other countries and just to finish so like a quick word from uh, magnet forensics so we actually like provide this type of solution we've been doing this for many years uh, we work with more than like 4000 customers 90 countries like so for example like in gcc like pretty much all of the police forces like the governmental institutions are using our product already like on their like uh, work and in the corporate side like we work with most of the biggest uh, organization in the world like in, in saudi we already have a pretty long list of customers we have also some local partners that are here like you know that speak arabic that can come with us like you know uh, see the customer with you and I think that's a topic really where we need to invest, we need to work together because at the end of the day, you know, all the organizations we are working with, they are facing risks. And if we're not really here like to invest and to protect these organizations, like, you know, the risks, like the small risk can quickly, you know, turns into big risk. And then, you know, like, like you know, it is with the media's like, you know, like sharing the like small news quickly. That's also something you need to be, uh, to be careful of. And that's pretty much everything for me. If you have any questions, feel free to go ahead. Otherwise, like, uh, let's, uh, let's enjoy the lunch break.